Welcome back to another segment of The DLA in the News. Out with the old, in with the new, WMS transition is underway. February 13, 2023. Article written by Jason Schamberger, with DLA Disposition Services. Battle Creek, Michigan. The Defense Logistics Agency Disposition Services, San Antonio Golov event is complete, and the warehouse management system is officially in use within disposition services. DLA has made use of the distribution standard system for over 15 years to manage warehouse operations across the agency. Over the next couple of years, Disposition services and distribution will phase out DSS and implement a modernized upgrade in the form of WMS. WMS is a new modernized warehouse management system, said Liberty Moore, the disposition services WMS line of effort owner for training, communication and change management. What we're doing is moving all of our property and accountability to the same platform as our financial platform and that way the systems can talk to each other easier, and this makes us more auditable. All right, student clients, um, hopefully you're enjoying the article. Um, and my first thought with uh, this article uh, links me back to the DLA's um, Office of Small Business Programs as it relates to distribution, uh, the DLA Distribution Division, which the article is, is really talking about. Um, one, to get involved, um, the DLA uh, Distribution Office of Small Business Programs is located in New Cumberland, Pennsylvania, and uh, they have an email address that's posted on their website uh, that I highly recommend um, you guys um, send them an email at the dla.distributionosbp at dla.mil. Um, when you send them an email, you would want to reach out to them by providing them with a copy of your capability statement. Let them know that you have um, 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 read this particular article and that you're interested in getting involved with the DLA distribution uh, buying activity as it relates to supporting uh, WMS, their new warehouse uh, modernization system. Um, this is going to be the future of the DLA and what better way to get involved on the ground floor uh, as they began to um, roll this particular system out in all of their uh, different um, warehouses uh, globally. And if your small business does anything to do with warehouse management software or tools or just getting to know the workflow of the supply chain as it relates to this particular division of the DLA, um, this is a great place to start to kind of get some information. Uh, and again, uh, it, it never hurts just to reach out and to, to, to see what, um, what may, what, what benefit may come to, you know, your, your company. And again, you know, this is the office of small businesses. Um, you know, I would say medium sized, large businesses as well, uh, should be able to reach out and, uh, to see what's the best way to connect and get involved with the DLA. Uh, well, uh, I hope that, um, this article is exciting and empowering you uh, to be successful uh, with the DLA. I'll leave uh, a link in the description below that links to this article as well as to this particular site and the email address where you can um, uh, reach out. All right, uh, I'm going to switch back over to complete the rest of the article. And thanks again for watching. Transitioning the entire agency to a new platform requires teamwork from multiple elements of DLA in order to roll WMS out successfully. From an IT perspective we have our software folks from J6, Information Operations, and we also have J6 hardware folks that are helping us with the new technology of the tablets, and the scanners, and the new printers. We have J1, which are our training folks, that have been embedded with us since we began this project. This is great because they've learned the system right along with us, and they are the expert teachers. Not only did these different sections of the agency work jointly throughout the development of WMS but are also on hand as each site transitions to the platform. Carol Hemker, an IT specialist with J1, explains the importance of being physically present during the rollout. It's just about getting the warehouse workers up to speed and getting them going, said Hemker. 
The WMS system goes through several areas and systems. That's what we have to look at and ask, are all of the interfaces working together correctly? With us being on site, the warehouse team can grab us anytime and we can see if it's a true issue or operator error. This effort to bring various elements from the agency together and assist warehouse staff with the transition is a strategy supported by Disposition Services Mid-America Region Director, Kathy Atkins Nunez. I have been through many iterations of warehouse operations management, said Atkins Nunez. I think that this has been a better transition, in my opinion, than all the ones I've witnessed before. I've never seen it where, the support staff is coming to the field, J6 and J1, in teams that are needed. I think it's very important that it was done in this manner. I think it is the best transition I've seen. Those making use of the new system were given classroom instruction as well as hands-on training before the system went online. At the San Antonio site, the strategy seems to have paid off as warehouse staff are successfully taking on the change. WMS is a new system and new life and a new way of doing business, said Sam Nauman, the San Antonio warehouse supervisor. Now that it's in use in the warehouse, my team has really picked the system up well. Seeing how they are running with it, they're going a lot faster than I expected and I'm very happy about that. WMS continues deployment disposition services and distribution sites across the world in a calculated rollout. The current projection puts the system, fully integrated into the agency and the final site implementation, in September 2025. This now concludes another edition of the NMS e-learning systems, the DLA in the news. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell, so that you can always be abreast of new audio narration segment releases, brought to you by the DLA Guru. Thanks again for watching. I'm Parker Winslow, signing out. Thanks for watching. Also, if you find my related content inspiring, please show your support by hitting the like, share, and subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you can be alerted when I drop new relevant content to empower you for success with the DLA. Also by doing so, you'll help me reach a larger audience of people who may be also interested in learning more about government contracting and doing business specifically with the world's largest customer, the Defense Logistics Agency. Also, please don't forget to check out my flagship masterclass, Eight Steps to Successful Federal Supply Contract Bid Submissions to the DLA. This masterclass provides a balanced approach to virtual education and is designed for both beginners and seasoned companies alike, with proven techniques on the best way to position your organization to being successful with winning federal supply contracts with the DLA. The masterclass contains three and a half hours worth of content, along with proprietary and recommended software tools designed to empower you for success with the DLA. Check out the links provided in the description below to learn more today.